Is that it? Is that it? Did I do it? Okay. Here's animation, which I hope records well. Okay. Uh and here's a big clock on top. Forget where you put L W A T. Marcel's band, you old coot. What? Hold on. I've seen these symbols before. They were in that newspaper story about hobos. And that's why that's important. Okay, um... Who Marcel was and where his band is. Okay. That won't work. Hmm. Ordered new quartz from... Krollmeister Crystal Company. Paid 474. Highway robbery. Delivery takes six weeks. Have Waddell cut the blank. He did a swell job last time. Waddell, huh? Maybe I should ask Richard Topham if this crystal ever got delivered. Okay. So there's the old clock. Uh, can't do much there right now. Now what? Do you by any chance know who Marcel is? Marcel was what Josiah called his favorite hat. <gasps> his hat? The man named his Marcel's hat? band! The hat, hat so band! Him, it I get it! Sense. I don't even remember that one. Do you still have Marcel? No, as a matter of fact, I gave that hat to Gloria Crandall. Oh. She said she was fond of the old fellow and wanted something to remember him by. Although I suspect the real reason she wanted that hat was to see if he'd stashed any money in it. Josiah ordered something from the Krollmeister Crystal Company just before he passed away. Do you know if it ever arrived? You must be talking about that chunk of quartz that came last winter. I still have it right here. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a rock collector. Do you think I could have it? Perhaps we can work something out. You see, amazing as this is going to sound, I am able to project my thoughts into another person's brain. Is that so? Is that so? The only problem is, not everyone has the intellectual capacity to receive my thoughts. But since you have already demonstrated a high level of intelligence, yes, you may very well be the ideal this subject. This guy's so creepy. Subject? As in, experiment? You are going to help me prove that I am telepathic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle a deck which ah. contains five sets of these cards. Then I'm going to turn my back, draw a card, look at it, and start transmitting my thoughts. When you receive my thoughts, you will identify the card I'm looking at. Once you correctly identify five cards in a row, I'll give you that piece of quartz. But what if I can't do it? Just stay focused on the cards, and my superior brain power will do the rest. Uh, Very well. Let's begin. How do we do this? Can you tell me what card this is? How do you know? Um, This one. Wrong. Here's another. Which card am I thinking of? This one. Wrong. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? Are we just supposed to randomly tell? I think it's this one. Yes. Okay, Here's that's another. one. What card am I holding? This one. Wrong. Oh, come on. Here's another. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. Wrong. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. Which card am I thinking of? I think it's this one. Here's another. How are we supposed to tell? What card am I thinking about? This one. Incorrect. You must focus. Here's another. What card am I looking at? This one. Wrong. Here's another. What card am I looking at? I think it's this one. No. Try again. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. Wrong. 
Oh my gosh. Whenever he picks up a particular card, he always says the same thing. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? Maybe later. I think my brain needs a rest. Good day. Wait a minute. He always says the same thing, does he? Okay. Ready to resume our telepathy experiment? I'll have to really pay attention now. Yes, sir. Very well. Let's mm. begin. What card am I thinking about? I guess we're going to have to figure out. What card am I thinking about? I think it's this one. Excellent. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? I haven't heard that one. Um, so that's what's card. So the square is what card I'm thinking about. This one. Wonderful. Here's Concentrating. Another. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. No, try again. Okay. Can you tell me what card this is? So it's either circle or the. I think it's this one. Wrong. Here's ah, another. it's a cross. Do you know what card I'm looking at? Um, this one. Very good. Well, you failed to. I think I got it. I think I got it. In a row. I don't want to say it out loud. I'm really thinking about it. You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. What card am I concentrating on? This one. Marvelous. Here we Here's go. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? I think it's this one. Incorrect. Oh, you darn it. It was a square. Here's My bad. Another. What card am I concentrating on? This one? Wonderful. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? How many times I are you going to pick up the wavy lines? This one. Wonderful. Here's another. What card am I holding? I'm going to guess the circle. This one? Very good. The circle's well, the holding? You okay. To correctly identify five in okay. a row. Shall we continue? The square is square is thinking. Concentrating is the waves. Circle is holding. What card am I looking at? Star. Okay. You bet. Ready when you, you have are. to do this Very well. before I forget. Let's begin. What card am I concentrating on? This one. Wonderful. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? The square. This one? Marvelous. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? Wavy lines. I think it's this one. Yes. Here's another. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. Yes. Ah. Here's another. What card am I concentrating on? This one? Very good. You did it. Well, actually, I did it. But in any case, right. thank you for your assistance. Here's the piece of crystal that Josiah ordered. Take it. You've earned it. Well, actually, I earned it, but let's not quibble. But, Mr. Topham, I didn't really... I mean, you didn't really... I mean, I'm afraid that subconsciously you may have... Uh... Yes? Don't Never tell mind. him. Don't tell him. Do you need anything else? It was nice talking to you. Good day. Okay. Oh, I figured that out. I was like, ah! Was that there before? I'm going to poke around some more, if that's okay. I don't mind. Putting physics to work in the modern world. Radioometer. Okay, that the movement of veins can ever be put in front. That's what you think. Depends on what you do with light first, pea brain. Oh, <laughs> I think that's. Well, we got the light things earlier. Yeah, I'm not reading through the books because I don't really need to. Okay, so we need to go get the hat from Emily. Hi, Nancy. Would you happen to know where your mother put Josiah's favorite hat? Look in the drawer right below me. That's where all mom's mementos are. Thank you. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. Maybe this is the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Is it? You don't need to look at everything in there, do you? Sorry. I guess we can't look at anything else here. Hi, Nancy. I'll be back in a little bit. You're the bee's knees. The bee's knees. Okay. So we got that. 
Um, I'm a ma. These were some other thing. Okay, but Emily didn't want... Is she being... Or is she hiding something? Okay, wait until Emily leaves her room. Then see if Bob's key is somewhere in that drawer where I found Marcel. Take the piece of... To the jeweler, Mr. Waddell, so he can cut the blank. Whatever that is. For Josiah's radio. Okay, read Mr. Tubman's mind. Okay. I'm finished with that. Try to locate the quartz. Yes. Check. Find out what the key that was... Can't check yet. that off yet. Look in the drawer in... Okay, Check. see if Emily knows where Marcel just said. Okay. That's done. Okay, we haven't done the figuring out the presses. Okay. Okay, ask around and see if anyone knows. Okay. That's done. Take a good look around the care attic. Check. See if. Okay. I'm finished. Check. Boy, we checked off a lot. Okay. Figure out the significance. Yeah, we got the poem. I'm finished with that. Figure out what to do with the mirrors. That's done. Anything we can ask you? What's cooking? Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. Okay, well, let's go to the jewelers. <laughs> Driving alone. Oh, um. What was the last? What was the last telegram supposed to take us to? Hello, Mr. Waddell. Now what? I need for you to cut a blank from this piece of quartz. No big deal. Let's see it. The blank needs to be just like the one you made before for Josiah Crowley. Like I said, no big deal. You're gonna have to cough up two dollars, though. You can pay me when you pick it up. Good day. All right. Let's make sure we've... Did you deliver that telegram? Oh, I did. I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Go to the library and deliver this to J.J. Pickle. Good. Keep up the good work. This telegram is for... Shh. Is that for Miss White? No. This one's for J.J. Pickle. What? Is Kay Fickle? J.J. Pickle. You right? Enough of this! Here. JJ Pickle, why didn't you say so? Oh. Did you do I want to make sure telegram? I got ample money. I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one is for Madame Pierrot out at Lowood. Keep up the good work. Hello, Miss Temple. I've got a telegram for Madame Perot. She's indisposed. I'll see that she gets it. Thank you. Bye. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Betsy Howard. She's at the Deer Mountain Resort. Keep up the good work. I got quite a lot of money, but just one more. I'm gonna get in this rabbit hole all these telegrams. I'm getting rich with my five dollars and sixty cents. Could you make sure Betsy Howard gets this telegram? I'd be happy to. Thanks. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Jurgis out at Krollmeister Nails. Okay. Keep up the good work. I am back. This time I have a telegram for Jurgis. I'll take that for him. Thank you. Bye. Ow! Oh, yeah. Dee, you uh, the box <laughs> of so watch where you step. Enough with trying to destroy our, our fingers. Did you deliver that telegram? Apparently. I should And we it. cut our good finger. For you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one is for Henry Suzalo over at the library. Keep up the good work. Uh, Six dollars and ten cents. Woo! I'm like a millionaire. Oh, um, I mean, hi. Could you please give this to Henry Suzalo? You want me to swallow? Henry Suzalo. Henry Suzalo. I'll give it to him. Bye. Uh, getting annoying there. 
Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Counselor Jason over at Camp Avondale. Keep up the good work. All right. First, I want to talk with Jim Archer about that key. Hello again. What's your opinion of Richard Topham? Interesting gentleman who's in an interesting line of work. Does he do business here? Yes, he does. Have you ever attended one of his training sessions? No, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I think he's a fraud. He makes a living doing whatever it is he does, so obviously someone thinks he's the real deal. I think I found the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Really? I have it right here. It is from this bank. May I see if it opens the box? It takes two keys to oh. open a safe deposit box. The owner's key and my key. And in this case, I'm under no obligation to open it for That's you. That's fair. Oh, but I... However, were you to do me a small favor... Sure. I hired a seamstress ah, to make that's a why dress we need for my wife's machine. birthday next week. Unfortunately, the seamstress and I had a falling out. And now I need to find someone to finish the dress. Maybe I could find somebody. How much are you willing to pay them? Oh, the fact of the matter is, the dressmaker quit because I couldn't pay her. Aww. I misled you before. Business is not fine. Right. This bank is on the brink of ruin. That's what that was all. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, and Mr. Oh, Archer. poor buddy. I wanted to get my wife something nice because, well, it might be the last nice thing she gets for a long, long time. Aww. Now, Emily once mentioned that Jane used to be a dressmaker. Say no more. Just give me the dress and I'll take care of it. I have it right here. The seamstress said that all the pieces have been cut out and basted together. All that's needed is a sewing machine. When it's finished, bring it back and I'll let you try that key in Josiah's safe deposit box. I guess I'll be going. Nice talking to you. I don't know. I'd say all... The people involved, aside from Emily, are pretty suspicious. If it turns out to be Emily, I'd be very impressed at fooling me here. Hi, I've got a telegram here for Jason. That's my name. Thanks. What happened to Alice? Nothing. I mean, she's unavailable. That's all. Okay, well, bye. Did you kill her, or is she waiting for you, like, in cabin number five? Welcome to Zippy's, where zipless service is zippily zapped, and zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Drive zippily. I mean, I'm saving. I, I could call Carson Drew, I suppose, but I'm saving all my money. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This goes to Miss Sketcher out at the Lowood Academy. Keep up the good work. I got quite a lot of money here. These potholes have just kind of popped out of nowhere. Hello again. I have a telegram for Miss Sketcher. Indisposed. Allow me. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Waddell. Are you done making that blank? Have you got my fee? Right here. Good. Here's the blank I cut for you. Enjoy. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Head to the gas station and deliver this to Pete Zimmerman, otherwise known as Zippy. Keep up the good work. Oh, that's convenient. Welcome to Zippy's, where zipless service is zipply zapped and zippy service is the zippiest. No offense, Thank but you. that's kind of a silly slogan. I know my mother made it up. Want some gas? No, actually, I have a telegram here for Pete Zimmerman. That's me. 
I'd uh, get you a tip, but my hands are all greasy. That's all right. <laughs> Bye. We ain't getting any tips from these guys. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's, and here's, your, here's your next, your telegram. next telegram. Deliver this to Larson Waddell. He owns the jewelry store. Yes, I know. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Yeah, I wasn't the only one who heard that voice glitch, was it? Hello, Mr. Waddell. Now what? I have a telegram for you. Let's have it. Thanks. Sorry, I can't tip you. I, uh... I'm out of change. Right. That's all right. Bye. Even after we just gave you two bucks. All right, last one, and then it'll be five bucks, at least. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money, and here's your next telegram. This goes to Mrs. Sheldon at her Twin Elms mansion. Keep up the good work. All right, we'll do it later. For now. Oh, fudge. Okay, so we got the... We got the crystal, we got the dress. Um, here, let's, um, save. So, uh, crystal. What's cooking? Since you used to be a dressmaker, do you think you could help me sew something? Me? Sew? <laughs> no, I can't. Sewing takes practice, and I haven't sewed a stitch in years. Whatever it is, believe me, I'd wreck it. Then how about giving me some pointers? Uh-uh, no can do. Sorry. Well, I'll talk to you later. You betcha. What's cooking? Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. That's it. Hmm, I know we gotta use the sewing machine for something. Hi, Nancy. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. Would it be all right if I used your sewing machine? Go right ahead, but remember, you're on your own. There's no needle. It's probably in the box with the rest of Mom's sewing stuff. Ask Jane if she knows where it is. Put this back. I don't know who to suspect here. I actually don't know who did it in this case. What's cooking? Would you happen to know where the needle for the sewing machine in Emily's room is? I moved all of Gloria's sewing things out of there and put them in a little box. Look, I'm supposed to get the pies we baked before all the hullabaloo this morning ready for the delivery man. They gotta be put in the shipping container just so or he casts a kitten. This is how he wants them organized. Now why don't you go out on the porch and get those pies ready to go while I look for that sewing box? Sounds good. Now, if I remember this part. We do a quick peek. I'll bet those are the two brothers that built the inn and Josiah's house. Looks like there might be some kind of tunnel around here. There's something written Door in on the parlor, back. window seat. Nothing else. Okay, let's get out of here. Cause we don't want to be caught snooping. We never wanna we never wanna dawdle when we're snooping. Okay, um where is it? Here? Okay, so for each variety of pie, cherry, blueberry, chocolate, the small pie always goes to the left of the large pie. Okay. Sandgate, two large cherry, uh one one blue, one chalk. Um, you know, I'm gonna take a picture of this because, oh my goodness. Okay, so for eight, okay, Sandgate. Uh, 
The small pie always goes to the left of the large pie. So, Sandgate wants two cherry, two large cherry, one blueberry. Let me put these away for a second. Um, no. Wait a minute. One blue. But what size? One blue and one chocolate. Okay, so one cherry. It doesn't say what size though. Small pie always goes to the left of the large pie. Um, get these chocolate pies out of the way. Now I want pie. Okay, so one small blueberry and one large blueberry. One small to one large chocolate. Okay, Appleton wants one small and one large cherry. Okay, and now two small blue. Yeah, well, I have to take a picture because there's no way I can memorize all this. Okay. Okay, so one small chocolate, one large chocolate. Skydale, one small. Oops. Doi. One small, one large cherry. Okay, um, put this away. Um, Two, two, two large blue. Put this on here. And how many chocolate? Uh, two large chocolate. Maybe I'll do a screenshot so you guys can follow along here. Mm. Two same size cherry. Um, actually, down here it says okay. Oh, I think I get it. I get it. Rearrange, rearrange the cherry a little bit. All these chocolate pies. Okay, two, two same size chocolate and two large chocolate. Okay. Instead of doing it in order, I think. Um, there. Whoa, okay. Um, I guess I did it correctly. I wasn't even lo lo looking at it. I really want pie now. And look, remember the cat that says a nice old lady, li a nice lady lives here? Thanks for doing the pies. The more I do it, the worse I seem to get at it. Here's that box. I'm sure that sewing machine needle is in there somewhere. I see it. Remember, when it comes to using it, you're on your own, kiddo. Nah. Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, righty All right. So, I guess we'll figure it out. Whoop, ah, not what I meant to do. Um, so, uh, pies. Might as well save. I see. can't be exact, right? There. Not bad, Miss Drew. Not bad at all. Is it done? I guess it's done. Okay. Now, how do we get you to leave your room? Because I don't think I got that far, getting her to leave her room.
Okay, let's get the dress done. I'll look at the secret passage later. How's the dress coming? All done. This is beautiful. Thank you. Close enough, now I guess. Now let's see if that key you found opens up Josiah's safe deposit box. All right, here we go. That was Josiah's key, all right. But that is not Josiah's will. It looks like some kind of journal. Would it be okay if I kept this? If it was money or jewelry or something like that, I'd turn it over to Tom. <laughs> Finders keepers, as far as I'm concerned. You're not a very reliable I'll be bank at my manager. Desk if you need me. You're not a very reliable bank manager. Okay, I remember how to open this. It's locked, naturally. Well, it's in our inventory now. Anything else I can do for you? I guess I'll be going. Give my best to Emily. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah, I told you, I got pretty far in this game last time I, I attempted this. Welcome to Zippy's, where Zipless service is Zippily Zapped and Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 25 cents worth, please. Ugh, stretch, stretch, stretch. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Drive Zippily. Hello, Mrs. Sheldon. I have a telegram for you. How oh, absolutely delightful. You're welcome. All right, uh, parlor seat. Right here. Oh, there we go. Looks like this lever opens the couch. I'm saving this. Sure, this isn't creepy at all. From the looks of those lanterns, I'm not the only one who's been down here recently. Yeah. Oh? Um, let's go that way later. An old piggy bank. Swell, a dollar. This piggy bank looks like it's been here for a long time. Reminds me of Jim Archer's. Oh. Okay, um... I wonder if those tiles are supposed to make a picture. I see, we switch. Um... Okay, well, we know that spells creepy corner. Mm, yeah, creepy's corner. Hmm. Question is, where? Oh, I see. Okay. 
Hmm, what if down here... Okay, well, I got something here. Unless this is over here. Yeah, that makes that looks better. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. that wasn't creepy enough um let's see I'm really looking around Almost there, just really looking at this picture. Okay, um, hmm, uh. ah. Not quite. What am I missing? Oh. Did that work? There we go. That symbol reminds me of the one on that trivet that used to belong to Josiah. Mm hmm. We'll need that. Get out of here. Is that guess I better not leave the lights on. Jeepers, that sounds like Richard Tom. This door must open right into his there living room. I remember here. Uh let's come back later. And save. <laughs> okay. Um record. I know there was a secret, secret passage somewhere. Uh, why is this gotta be so creepy? Because it's a mystery, that's why. So, what's up here? behind one of the walls in Emily's room. I'll bet that's how someone makes that picture move. Well, I'm not going back there. I should ask Jane about the photo I found that allowed me to find that staircase that goes behind Emily's room. Oh yeah. Great. Um, how do we get out of here? Guess I better not leave the lights on. Okay, that was kind of scary. I'll admit. Okay, well, she's not in her room, so let's...
Okay. I'll look at it later. Okay. Let's leave. Okay, so what did that actually say? Um, Dear Gloria, if you would do three simple things for me, I would very much appreciate it. First, keep this note for me. Tuck it away in a safe place, and should I ever ask to see it, please allow me to do so. Second, don't mention or show this note to anyone else. Third, don't ask me why. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You are a kind lady who sparkles like good water and makes me think that the sky's the limit. You are a kind lady. Get it? Because that's, that's the one. Okay. Like good water. It makes me think that the sky's the limit. Okay. So, dear Gloria, sorry it's taken me so long to answer your letter. I'm still a secretary at the bottling plant and business is booming and so I'm busier than ever. In fact, I'm typing this during my lunch break, so please excuse the mustard stains. To the bologna sandwiches. Of course, I'll take care of Emily if something happens to you. All she has to do is write, and I'll come running. But quit worrying about such things. You've got a nice place to live, and that sweet little girl will keep you company. I'm still in the boarding house. It's not the wrist, but my room is right across the hall from the washroom. Okay, did I miss something? I forgot to take a picture of the rest of the letter. It said... Okay. Me, I'm still in the boarding house. It's not the wrist, but my room is right across the hall from the washroom. And most of the gals have are honest and hardworking and fun, but there are a few bad apples, like this gal named Marion Aborn. She dropped in the other day to borrow some bobby pins, so I went to the drawer to get some from, for her. Only when I turned back around, she was going through my purse. She said it had fallen over and she was just putting it back, but I know what I saw. Anyway, I sure miss you. I'm investing as much money as I can in the stock market. Uh-oh. Because my boss says it's a surefire way to get rich. So next year, maybe I can take the train out there to see you. Better yet, maybe I'll buy a car. Wouldn't that be the butterfly's boots? Right soon, your friend forever, Jane. I'm kind of suspecting that this isn't our real Jane. This is... Uh, Marion. What's cooking? I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house. And off of it, I found a staircase that leads to a space behind a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. You mean, the noises that Emily's been hearing, the things she's been seeing, it's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? Did you know about the secret passageway? No, and I've never heard Emily say anything about it either. <laughs> I was able to Suspicious. open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? Can you think of somebody else who may have had access to that picture? Anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you're just trying to help Emily, so I guess I shouldn't get mad. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven knows she could use some fresh air. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, let's use a record now. Um... Okay, so, we got the note. She's still not there. Okay. We'll play this for you, and you pay attention. I'll never forget the night it all began. That dark, stormy, fateful night when I decided the time had come to rid the world of the creature. 
but it would take money to do that. And to get money, I needed to confront my arch enemy, Nick, who had recently become able to transform himself fittingly into a giant wart. <laughs> When his forest hideaway came into view, I dismounted and approached the door on foot so I could take him by surprise. Hoof beats, clap of thunder, clap of thunder, rain. My fear that he would hear me proved groundless, for a terrible storm began to rage, washing away the sound of my footsteps. I peered through the rain-streaked window beside his front door and could see him sitting in front of the fire. He had returned to human form, but the malicious smile on his face suggested that he was recalling his recent poor sign exploits. Seeing that the door was unlocked, I hurled it open and marched across the room toward him. Step away from that bottle of warthog potion, I commanded, and give me the 20 gold coins you stole from my poor servant. I'm not going to give you a thing, save perhaps a taste of my sword. And with that, he drew his sword in an instant I had drawn mine, and so commenced the fiercest sword fight the world had ever known! Her the steps storm under rain raging outside door. paled in comparison to our battle. To my surprise, Nick's experiences as a lower life form seemed to have improved his skill as a swordsman. I fainted, I parried, and yet victory eluded me. And soon, I began to feel my strength ebbing from me. I was tiring rapidly, summoning every ounce of what little energy remained in my body. I lunged at him one last desperate time. Ouch! Why, you've wounded me. I had managed to wound him on his right arm, just above the elbow. Curse you! His words, punctuated as they were by an untimely clap of thunder, sent a shiver down my spine. Save your breath, I intoned, yeah, they had fun and with give this. me those gold coins. Here, take your precious coins. He tossed the bag of coins onto a chair, but as I reached for them, he reached for his bottle of potion, and in a matter of seconds, my night had gone from bad Horrible. All right, let's get out of here. Now. Okay, where's a quiet place to do this? Okay, so. I remember this puzzle. So, the key was to match, match the sounds to what was going on. And it goes on from hoof steps, storm, storm, rain, door, f at, at footsteps, clang, clang, and then thunder, and then gold drop in. So all together, it's good fellow. Imagine the sound effects. You don't have to listen to the whole record. You can just read the text. And remember that journal? So we do G. Oh, where's the O? Oh, oh, these look so weird. Good. F E L L O O W. And there you go. Flute 7.025 megahertz. Puck. That's who Josiah played in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah, knows me as Puck. Okay. Gave his cue and told him what he was supposed to say in reply. He thought it was a joke, but that's okay. I can trust him. Pyramus, 7.057 megahertz. He was in a foul mood, but I told him his cue and gave him his reply. 
I told him to write it down and he did because I could hear his pen scratching on the paper. Bisbee, 7.050 megahertz. It looks like some kind of record of the people Josiah talked to on his ham radio. I gave her a line, then had her say it over and over till she knew it by heart. She knows the Q line too. Don't have to worry about her. Okay. Hmm. Look through the Shakespeare book. Use the frequencies, Josiah. Okay, Can't we didn't uh, play the record. Done. Yes. Check. Unscramble the picture. I'm finished with that. That's done. Figure out what creepy's corner. That's done. Figure out how to unlock the journal. Yep. I'm finished Mr. with Archer's that. Mr. Archer's dress. Check. Put the sewing needle back. Okay. Check. See if Mr. Waddell's done making. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. Check. Find out what happens. Check. For the door. Check. That's done. While Jane is out looking for that needle, take a good look around the desk she's always standing at. She might be hiding something. I'm finished with that. Use the directions Jane gave me and put the pies into the. Okay. That's done. Ask Jane. Okay. Check. See about finishing. Okay. I'm Wait until Emily's that. not in the room. That's done. Take the piece of quartz Topham hat gave me. Check. Find out what the key. That's done. Is in the band of Josiah's hat opens. Figure out which symbols to press for each name on the carriage. Can't check that off yet. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. You've gotten almost everything though. So far. Saving time. Okay. Journal. Let's go visit Mr. Topham and ask about the, the book. Actually going through this pretty quickly. I mean, it helps I did this before, but still. Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Hey, eh, you creepy guy. Now what? Could I see that copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream you have there? Why? Well, you said it was Josiah's favorite play. I'd just like to take a look at it. It's a very old copy. I'd rather it not be mm -hmm. handled unnecessarily, lest it fall completely apart. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but request denied. It was nice talking to you. I'm sure it was. Okay. All right. So now what do we got? Check. All right, let's look at the frequencies then. I'm glad they don't make you do it again. Open this up. Glad they don't make you do that again. All right, thank you. It's pretty advanced for 1930, just saying. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to split this up into a couple parts. I'm not sure if I'm doing it one sitting, but here we go. All right, let's look at... Look at that journal. All right, 7.025. Okay, first of all, let's put the crystal in there. Looks like Josiah was a ham radio operator. Seven point, um. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Speak to me. Hello? 
This is Flute, but you sure don't sound like Puck, so explain yourself. Uh, my name's Nancy Drew. So where's Puck? Well, I'm pretty sure Puck's real name was Josiah Crowley. And I hate to say it, but he passed away earlier this year. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Heck, I never got to give him his sentence. His sentence? Hmm. Well, see, a while back, Puck dictated a sentence to me and told me that if and when he recited a certain passage from Shakespeare, I was to respond with that sentence. Hmm. Weird fellow, that Puck. Could you tell me the sentence? Oh, no, Puck made me promise. I can only say the sentence after I hear the passage from Shakespeare. Is the passage from one of his plays? Don, if I know. What if I figured out the passage? Would you tell me the sentence then? Uh, I suppose I could do that, yes. Is Flute your real name? No, it's just what Puck insisted I'm calling me. What'd you say his real name was? Josiah Crowley. Strange. I never heard of him. Why is that strange? Uh, he led me to believe he was this big cheese out in Hollywood, you know, some famous producer, director or something. Said he owned his own studio. Hmm. He didn't own a studio, and he certainly didn't live in Hollywood. I'll be darned. So he was just lying to me. Well, that's all right. I may have told him a fib at three over the years myself. Like the time I told him I was a scratch golfer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. In any case, you oh. tell me the passage, I'll tell you the sentence. Until then, over and out. Thought I hurt my cat. All right, now what about the other ones? Pyramus, known as Puck. Uh, 0.057. Okay. Yeah, I know these characters. 5-7, so... I'm a big fan of Mixer and I stream. Thisby, are you there? Oh, Hello? or that works too. I'm Thisby, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about Puck. Oh dear, they closed the play he was starring in, didn't they? That's why I haven't heard from him. He's too far down in the dumps. Oh, I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh my. Yeah. That's worse, isn't it? And after all that rigmarole he went through, making sure I knew my line and understood my cue. So he gave you a line to say and told you to repeat it only after you heard your cue, which was a passage from Shakespeare. Why, that's exactly what he did. He did the same thing with you, didn't he? How he enjoyed spreading his love of acting. He called himself the Johnny Appleseed of theater. Yes, well, could you tell me the line he gave you to say? I'd be delighted to. Uh, Thisby, are you there? I'm waiting for my cue. But I don't know what that is. Puck was adamant that I not say my line unless and until I hear my cue. Sorry. Thisby's not your real name, is it? No. It's what Puck called me. My real name is dull as dishwater, just like my line. Aww. Mildred. <sighs> Puck was such a breath of fresh air. His real name was... Uh, uh, I don't want to know. Yeah. He told me that acting was his life and that he'd gotten rich and famous hmm. doing it. No matter who he was to the rest of the world, that's what he was to me and that's how I want to remember him. When I think I know what your cue from Shakespeare is, I'll contact you again, okay? Suit yourself. Over and out. Okay, so... Okay, so it's five seven. I accidentally got the wrong. Pyramus, can you there hear me? There we go. Me? Hello. This is Pyramus. Who are you? My name's Nancy Drew. Does somebody named Puck usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck used to. Apparently, he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. Well, that's because he passed away not too long ago. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a good excuse, I guess. <laughs> How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? That's a good question. I was just wondering, did Josiah, I mean Puck, ever ask you to tell him something in response to a certain passage from Shakespeare? Yeah, 
whenever he rattled off this stupid Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off this stupid saying he had me write down. How did you know about that? Because he had other people do that, too. Just out of curiosity, what was the stupid saying you were supposed to rattle off? Can't tell you. Gotta hear the Shakespeare first. Puck made me promise. How long have you known Puck? I've been talking to him over the radio for a couple of years. He told me he was just this lonely old rich guy who lived by himself and had a bunch of weird hobbies. I mean, that part's true. In a pig's eye. You didn't believe him? Rich guys don't own ham radio sets. They own radio stations. Mm. In their spare time, they drive fast cars and sail around the world and hobnob with other rich guys. They don't shoot the breeze with working stiffs like me. But Look, if it made the guy happy to tell me he was rich, fine. No skin off my nose. But he didn't fool me. No siree. Not for a second. Anyways, the missus is calling, which means I gotta skedaddle. Over and out. Lovely. Yeah, now my kitty's here. Okay. Well, I'm coming to a point where I might have to interact with the kitty. Alright, so. Hmm. Gotta find their cues. That means... Ugh. That's done. I know what I have to do now. We're getting to the part where I got stuck. Shows you how far I got before I rage quitted. Jeez, that noise. <laughs> no, I'm just having severe PTSD from this part that's coming up. Um, This is the part where I kept getting stuck. All these noises aren't helping. Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> this is where I got stuck, so I'm gonna be quiet. Yes, I better not leave the lights on. I don't hear anybody. Now would be a good time for me to sneak inside and have a quick look at that Shakespeare book. Mm. Where's the cat's toy? Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. Where's that damn cat's toy? Come on. Damn it, where's the cat's toy? Oh, there it is. Phew. Yuri, be quiet. What's wrong with you? Mm. Clear your mind of all thoughts. Think okay. about nothing save that spoon. Josiah must have circled these quotes, but why? Something tells me I better write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Yes. I'll look at them later. Now I gotta get out of here. Yes, Mrs. Deckman. Is it okay if I blink? Yes, it's okay if you blink. Just keep focusing. Your eyes are Oh, phew. So, I did it really fast. So the problem was... <gasps> Get me out of here. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Okay, now I can breathe. Okay. Uh, I'm really breathing. Okay. Success. Ah, uh, now I'm finally at the point where... Ugh. I'm just so happy. 14 fucking years. And I've finally passed that part in the game. So... Uh... Well, I'm, I, I didn't get, I didn't really read out the cues, but it was like, um, thou speakest all right. I am that merry wanderer, wanderer of the night. That's Pyramus's cue. Flute's cue. Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. 
These are all puck lines. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. Okay. Yeah, I know these lines. Thank you for writing it down, because I wouldn't have remembered. <laughs> That's done. I'm finished with that. Check. Check. So, the reason why I, I could never get out of there, one, I didn't figure out that the cat could get the mouse, needed the mouse. Well, that was first, and once I did that, I got the book, but then I couldn't find the way to get back. I, I couldn't find the trap door again, so I was just wandering around and freaking out until Mr. Topham caught me, and it was game over, over and over again. What's cooking? I don't know. Well, I'll talk to you later. I didn't know if there was something you else betcha. to figure out here. All right. So, we're going to that clock now. Yes, kitty. Yes, my actual kitty here. Who doesn't need a toy mouse to keep quiet? <laughs> well, she can't keep quiet, period. <laughs> I'm sorry, my heart's still racing because I had some serious PTSD from all that. Okay, open this up again. I guess you can't really leave it the way it was. Are we actually almost done? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, so let's contact them again. Pulling out, uh, this. Okay, so flute. Seven, two, five. Okay, two, five. Is anyone out there? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Flute here. That you, Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. And I think I know the Shakespeare passage that Puck wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. Okay. Flutes. Um... Shall we there fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. Here, let me check my logbook for the response. I'm glad I, I'm glad I reviewed uh, it before I went there. Now I'm supposed to say... Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Those were Puck's exact words. Okay. Well, hope I've been of some help. Over and out. All right. All right. And yeah, Pierre and Mrs. was I am that Mary Wander and I. These are like Puck's most famous lines too, so it's easy for me to remember. Uh, great. Um, no, no, no. Okay. So, Pyramus, my man, uh, five, seven, okay. Get out of here. I do love all the references to Midsummer Night's Dream in here. Is anyone out there? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Pyramus. Is this whoever it was before? Yes, All right, let's Nancy get ready. Drew. And I think I know the Shakespeare quote Puck used to rattle off when he wanted you to say that stupid saying. Stupid think saying? So? <laughs> well, let's hear it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. No, it's uh, the one down here. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. How'd you know? Long story. What did he tell you to say in response? Wait a minute. I had to write it down. Here. You're gonna love this. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. A barking dog, dog would, do would do well, well to, to hold, hold his, his tongue, tongue in, in a dangerous, dangerous neighborhood. neighborhood. I told you it was stupid. I really appreciate your help. Just out of curiosity, what kind of car did Puck drive? Do you know? I don't think he had a car. And he tried to tell me he was rich. 
over and out. All right. And this B, uh, what's this B's thing? Cause I had her accidentally, uh, five zero, okay. Nope, I went too far. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Speak to me, hello? This is Thisby. Are you the young lady I talked to before? Yes, I'm pretty sure I know the cue now. I'm listening. Okay, if we shadows have offended, thank but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. <coughs> The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. I took way. pictures of all of them just That's in case. That's what I was to say, although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. And now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Okay. All right. Uh, did I write it down? Okay. Good thing they said it. I'm finished with that. All right. Now. Flute is a character in A Midsummer Night's Dream. And what did he say? Uh, let me pull up the hobo code. Okay. Th okay. Okay, flute said. Leave by the road. When the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by the road. So hit the road while the owner is in. Because, aha, okay. So uh, hit the road. Okay. Okay. Hit the road while the owner is in. There are thieves about. This bee said, what'd she say? The authorities are alert. Okay. For bad water, so do not go this way. Okay, the authorities are alert. I'm probably gonna put the, I'm, I'm okay. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. This one. And Pyramus said, okay, oh, I, I didn't mean to go backwards. Okay. What did Pyramus say? Okay, a barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. Okay. A barking dog Do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. Oh, keep quiet. I get it. Okay. A barking dog. Uh, great. A uh, barking dog. Keep qu No, wait. Sorry. Um, no. Um, where was barking dog? Barking dog. Keep quiet in a dangerous neighborhood. And bottom. Where's the note to Gloria? are a bit more organized. Okay, well, fortunately, I took a picture of it. So where is it? Um, uh, ma 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 There we go. You are a kind lady who sparkles like good water and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Okay, so kind lady... Good water, sky's the limit. So, kind lady, good water, fresh water, and the sky's the limit. <gasps> what now? Your goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the spot of the bore. No going over. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, clock. Clock cues. 
Okay, so this was not the part. Okay, your goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the last spot on the board. No going over. Each card can only be used once. You do not need to use all of the cards. To take a shortcut, you must be on a spot with a picture on it and use the same picture to take the pathway. Good luck. Okay. All right. So, one, two, three, four. Let's take a shortcut. I see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess it didn't work. Wait a minute, what? Oh, reset. I see what you mean doesn't work unless you use the picture. Okay, so that moon, so that lucky charm is how many spaces away? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And how much is that lucky charm? Two. Okay, so I'll save that hard one. Um, ten, three, and two. And then, now what? Now how do we get to the diamond? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, five. Wait, what? I'm confused. Um, let's try something else. So ten. Um, four. Two. Why is this not working? I'm really confused now. So you can take a shortcut if you land on the picture. So what happens if you, okay, um, oh, I see, okay, and then butterfly, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We already used nine. Uh, what can make nine? Uh, six and three and oh, great! We already used though. Um, Well, uh, that didn't work. I think I'm starting to get it now. So what are the green ones? We need the charm. Okay, we'll need the charm. Okay, so. We'll save the four for later, okay. We'll need the charm, okay. So we're gonna need the clover, the diamond, and then the water drop. Clover costs how much? Two. And then the diamonds, one, and the water drops. So don't use two, one, or four just yet. So it's 15 away. One, two, three, four, five. I think I figured it out. So one, two, three, four, five which we've already done. Great. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
again. Oh. So nine and six, and then the seven here, and they need one, two, three. Uh oh, that might be a problem though. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can you make it to fourteen? Hmm. Maybe there's a way in one, two, three, four. One, two, okay. I think I'm starting to get it though. You can't make 14 that way. So let's. Yeah, we can't go over. How do we do this? Hmm, I hope there's not a time limit on here. Let's see. Let's say using the 10, let's use 8 and... No, we can't use 7. Oh, no, wait. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Damn it. Hmm, maybe I'm jumping ahead of myself a bit. Okay, uh, let's reset. I'm gonna need to go about this a different way, like. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, now we can't get that way. Um, huh. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. This might take a while. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What is the solution here? Um, nine and six, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four. That's a problem. Um, hmm, I wonder if I will have to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Can you make twenty-one from here? Ten. Actually, you can. I did it! Ooh, oh my gosh. Whoa! What's that? A golf ball. No doubt meant to be used on that golf course of Josiah's. Take this to Tiny Town and for oodles of fun, use it there to hit a hole in one. So you're gonna have to hit a hole in one. Okay, we're going back to the golf course.
Okay, after that, <laughs> I'm proud. Okay, so, uh, board game. Okay, golden ball, or there we go. There's no way am I doing that again. Oh, over here? Holy crap, what the hell is that? This is so intricate and bizarre. Um, Tiny Town Part Two, now what? What is that? Another safe deposit box key? Interesting, um, now what? <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, what just happened? Okay, um... Check. I'm finished with that. I'm gonna check everything off. Check, 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 check. Am I really gonna do this in one day? <laughs> That's done. I mean, it might be one day. We'll see how we're doing with splitting it off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just buzzing right now. I'm feeling so smart. I mean, granted... What, I feel like I did like... You've got to go talk to Emily. She's in a bad way. What do you mean? What's happened? Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'm no help at all. Okay, yeah, let's talk to her. Because, okay. Just go back to River Heights, Nancy. But I think I know where the real will is. It doesn't matter. I can't run the inn anyway. I'm going to have to sell it. What do you mean? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. That is damn creepy. I must creepy. do things and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing mom, I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jean call it, a nervous breakdown. Emily, just listen to me. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. Okay. Um, well, I guess you... All right. You better get to the bottom of this fast. Okay. Let's go to the banker, because that's all we need to do so far. Um, can we talk to, um, who I suspect is not really Jane, though? Did you talk to her? Do you see what I mean? No wonder I never saw or heard anything. It was all in her mind. No, it wasn't. I'm not so sure, Miss Willoughby. What's more, I think I've found something that'll solve all her problems. I'll talk to you later. Okay, let's get out of here. We're going to the bank. I don't even remember where the last telegram's supposed to go. But, I don't care. I'm going straight to the bank. Hello again. I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. Where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me. Her Clara. ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. We're gonna see? So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Ah! Apparently, I knew he it! Tricks like that on people I knew it! It right looked like Josiah. I looked at Josiah. <laughs> Last will and testament. Oh my god! I wonder what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. 
Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane I Willoughby. I knew it! No, it's Frickin Jane! Doesn't. I'd better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with her right now. Oh, the car. Oh my god. She's running away. Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. I know. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. You're that Marion girl. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby, the real Jane Willoughby. Oh. It's been swell knowing you, sister. Oh my god, is she going to run off the road? I can't let Jane out of my sight. What? That was fast. Um, second chance. I can't let Jane out of my sight. What? Uh, second chance. Okay. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Okay. We get it. We get it. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Ah, this is so tricky! Economic recovery is imminent. Yeah, right. I knew I shouldn't have let her out of my sight. Okay, second chance. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Come on, speed up. Where are we going? Come on. How how long are we going for here? I'll bet she's heading for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and head her off. I know where the state line is. Did we do it? Pies! Ugh. Why couldn't you just mind your own business? Dear Ned, I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. Did we I do just it? Solved a mystery. <laughs> I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. She pretended to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was incapable of running Lilac in and that she should sell it and split the money with her. Yeah. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. He left Jim Archer a ton of money too, which means he won't have to close his bank. But how? And from who, now on, he'll be will. able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah left him nothing. Ooh. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and insists that he's going to contest the will I found. Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Anyway, when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly <laughs> damaged cherry pie. <laughs> Wait till you hear that part of the story. As always, Nancy. Yay! I did it! And I did it in one day, too! Sweet! Congratulations, you've been awarded the title of... Of what? Penny saved, Penny earned for having more money than you started with, and then some. Cool! Great news, I think. See, Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a mystery. Ah, the Hardy Only Boys! this mystery takes place on a train. But not just any train. A train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy Boys. But I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. Mm. Whoop! Hurley's Comet. <laughs> Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. I do have that game. I have four games. I got The Secret of Shadow Ranch and Curse of Blackwood Manor. Okay, um, 
Finally, it only took 14 years, but I finished this game, and all because I couldn't, I couldn't find a stupid trap door. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually amazed that when I first played this game, like, like you know, I had no no uh, cheat sheets or game plays to check on or anything. It just, I just, I, I, I just kept going and kept going. And it looks like I really got like 75 to 80 percent done. Yeah, I suspected Jane when I read that letter about Mary, and I'm like. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Uh, I knew Mr. Topham was shady about something. Well, he wasn't the one who stole the jewels, but he did fake the will. That we know. <laughs> oh my god. But that 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 uh Josiah Crowley. <laughs> I thought I thought I didn't want to say it, but I thought that picture of Clara there had really looked like Really looked like a, a, a Josiah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. So that was. I still. I still think Josiah was kind of on the queer side. I mean, well, he didn't love Shakespeare, but still. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you guys want me to uh, play more of the Nancy Drew games, like at least play the other three I got, then uh, please let me know. And, oh you know, yeah, all the cast. I, I, I didn't do any phone calls outside of that one to Carson Drew. That's a shame. Anyway. Uh, yes. So, I can play those games if you guys want me to. And, actually, it would be interesting to play more games, but only if I start getting more patrons on my Patreon, then I can actually buy some more games. And just go to patreon.com slash dizzyfanatic2364 if you want to see more of these gameplays. Alright. For now, Dizzy Fanatic 2364 out.